Hey developers, today I'm going to show you how to take ViewPress and create a blog from it. So let's take a look. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also the author of Vue.js in Action. So if you guys are interested in that or just want to get a free chapter of that book, I have a link in the description below. You just click on it and you can get the free first chapter of my book, Vue.js in Action. So I want to show you guys today ViewPress. So if you don't know, I actually did a video on ViewPress probably a couple of months ago. A lot of people liked it. So it's a static site generator with Vue.js in mind. A lot of people are using this for like documentation, things like that. It's really simple. It uses Markdown. I know a lot of people like to use this to create blogs. Until now, you had to do a lot of things to get it working as a blog. Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it it's still kind of a pain. However, I found this really cool open source project called the ViewPress Blog Boilerplate by Ben Hong. And by the way, shout out to Ben. He is at Ben Codezen on Twitter. I actually interviewed him on Views on View episode 37 back in November. So we talked a lot about Vue, X, Vue Press, Nuxt. So he's a pretty cool guy. So make sure you check out his Twitter. But he created this boilerplate for Vue Press and it's pretty cool and it has some cool features. So I went ahead and cloned it. He actually recommends that if you want to use this that you go ahead and just fork it into your own repo. So the goal is to just get really, just to create a very simple blog up and running really quickly with ViewPress. And it has some features like basic pagination, scheduling for future, uh, the future posts for publishing, tagging. So you have to have Node and obviously use ViewPress to get up and running. So if you take a look at it, I went ahead and already cloned it and I got it up and running. So here it is what it looks like when it gets, this is just right out of the box, the boilerplate for you can see it has tagging, uh, my tagging post, you can see here, you can read more, you can see he just created this basic post right here, uh, my first post. And then he has a article. So if you click on the, and I'll, I'll make sure I put all these links in the description below, but if you click on docs and then click on learn, he has this README and it tells you uh, a lot more information and he actually kind of gives you an installation and then a tutorial to kind of get you started. So I thought I would do a couple of these just to, to see how it is. So he said, create a new file called myfourthpost.md in the source blog directory. So here is Visual Studio Code. I went ahead and just went ahead and, and opened the project up. I have in terminal, I have it running already. I already NPM installed it and ran NPM run dev to get it working. So you could see here, uh, he has the source folder. Don't worry about the docs right now, but in the source folder, you have the blog. And then here is where your under source blog, this is where the blog posts are. So he says the first thing you should do is to create this myforcepost.md. So let's try that. So we're going to do a new file, create it. So it's like I said, this is a markdown file. That's how ViewPress works. And you see it looks like this, first post, second, third, fourth. So my first, second, third, fourth, there it is. And then open it up and he said, you can kind of copy and paste the following into your markdown file. So let's try that. So I, I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. I'm gonna save it. And once you save, you should now see the fourth post up on your homepage. So, so let's take a look. So here is the fourth post. Cool. So you can see your blog post, December 28th, 2018, my fourth post. I'm creating my first post. And then if you click on it, here's the whole post. Here you can see here, um, he, here's like a tool tip you can put in there. This is markdown. So this is like your H1 tag at the top. This is a special feature of ViewPress where you put these dash, dash, dashes. That's where you can kind of put the title, date, type, excerpt tags, which is cool, you can do tagging in this. So really neat. So let's see, that's the first part. And you can see from this, this boilerplate that it automatically just adds it to your feed. We didn't have to add anything special here and it shows it up at the top. Read me here. So the second thing 
to do is create a new page. So odds are you will want to customize the top navigation with a couple of pages of your own to personalize the site. So let's create. So if you look at the basics, you have home RSS and repo, but let's create an about page. So you create a new directory in the source directory called about. So we'll create it new folder called about. And then create a new file in the new about directory called readme.md. So we'll do that. New file, readme.md. And then it should look like this with this about folder with the readme.md. Uh, I made mine lowercase, but it should be fine. So the readme md files and directories get converted to index.html files at build time, so don't worry about it. It looks weird right now. Let's just paste something about in there. So I could just copy and paste this. We did it. Now if you visit localhost about, you should see your page. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to go about. There it is. I'm a great developer. There's a lot of great things to share the world. So cool. We created an about me page. Really simple. So step three, add an item in the nav bar. So source view press config JS file in your favorite text editor. So to do that, so basically we have to go to source and then view press. And this is where the internals are. And this is where he's the boilerplate really comes in handy because he's added in all the, all the theme information, some icons. He's already created some components in here, but let's take a look. So he says to go into the config.js file. You can see here it is, make this lower. And then inside this folder here, you could see he has the export title destination. This is basically the configuration of your ViewPress site. Located in the section theme config.nav. So that's theme config. And here's the nav. So here's the two navigation links. Add a new object for the about page. So we can do something like this. So I'm gonna just copy and paste it underneath here. Save it. Look at my readme again. Cool, now I have an about. You can see how it works. Now I have an about, a home. So that was that simple to add in a link to the top nav. Pretty cool, huh? Warning, when you want to go to the index.html of a directory, it's critical that you put a slash at the end of the relative link because it will break otherwise. So he's just saying right here, make sure you put the slash right here, otherwise it'll break. So cool little tip there. So that's the end of the tutorial. He says the next thing to do is to deploy to Nellify, but I'm not gonna do that. But you can see how really simple it is. Let's take a look here. He has this kind of blog post list view. This is how he's doing probably on the front page for it to list correctly. He has this preview already set up. He has same icons in here. And then in themes, he has like the Algolia search, so I guess the search at the top. He has this drop down. You can see he has all this cool stuff already built in to the search box dot view. He has all this cool stuff built into the theme, just makes it a lot easier into the into the the boilerplate here. So yeah, that's really cool. I know that was just a really quick introduction, but I would say Guys, take a look at this, download it, you know, fork it, start playing around with it. He has some, I know he's been answering some issues and, and keeping it up to date. And there's a lot of enhancements people want. Looks like a couple of users and he's been able to answer them. And so uh, it's very cool. Like this is a neat little project and I hope more people use it. So what do you guys think about ViewPress? I know I did a video a few weeks ago on Gatsby and I, I think a lot of people um, and I looked at uh, Gatsby and I looked at those type of, of, of type of projects out there and how uh, GridSum is, is really competing that in the view space. But I really like ViewPress for just simple sites and this looks really easy to get up and running and uh, just create a really simple blog. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you use this? And I really appreciate it. And if you guys like this video, make sure you thumbs it up, share it, with your friends, do all that stuff. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.